go here I am my camera's not very tall so uh, this is Shaziz I'm out here in my mad science laboratory so you want to build a Tesla coil eh? well Tesla coils there really ain't nothing to it but just to do it you got a primary down here a lot of people make them out of uh, different materials uh, copper tubing seems to work pretty well this is a, called a pancake coil it's really easy to make uh, mo most generally you can get uh, the uh, copper tubing's already bent right in the package and this particular one here was made with little slots to keep all the uh, coils separated with these little wood slats and then uh, you got your secondary windings all the way up to your top load right here but the uh, question I have for you is going to build a Tesla coil what is it you want to build this Tesla coil for? Are you in it for the uh, wireless energy transfer? Or are you in it for all the uh, sparks and nifty lightning uh, show that you can get? Personally, I'm uh, interested in the uh, wireless energy transfer myself. And so that's what I do with mine. Ooh. You got to be uh, really careful whenever you're messing around with high voltage. You get the uh, crud shocked out of yourself. Let me turn this off for a second. Loop my light back in so we can see what it is I'm talking about. Now, I can take you step by step using the high tech terminology that everybody's so favored about. Or I can just give you the plain and simple. Depending on the response of this video that I get will depend on whether or not I make a step-by-step how-to. My uh, secondary is not perfectly centered inside there. Anyway, uh, most generally when people are making Tesla coils, they use uh, these doggone I don't know if you can see that very well down there. Those are neon sign transformers. All right? There's the oldest one right here. Uh, these are anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 volts of electricity. And uh, me, myself, I kind of like this little uh, Beckett oil burner igniter down there. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's right down there. It's little bitty uh, oil burner igniter and it runs off of this 12 volt car battery right here which I've said in previous videos this uh, bad particular battery came out of a bus has one dead cell in it but it's uh, running that oil burner igniter which is uh, giving me uh, my high voltage to do what it is that I want to do anyway like I said before I'm in it for the uh, wireless energy transfer you can see I've got my energy out there in the air I actually touch the coil itself you don't want to touch that with your bare finger because it will lay you out but uh, this over here is the modern version hold on I got tangled up here oh. Let me turn that over. Basically, I call this one the Shaziz coil. This one right here is a uh, beefed up Tesla coil. Works as a transmitter and a receiver for transmitting wireless energy. Essentially what happens is it picks up energy off of those coils over there then amplifies it goes through the vacuum tubes creates plasma then fires down into a capacitor which uh, fires again through a couple spark gaps and then uh, fires back up through the top of the uh, antenna there which would uh, on the other would be the toroid or a top load there's uh, 
several different ways you can make your uh, primary. You see this one down here I made actually out of a uh, out of one of these uh, glass bulbs right here these fluorescent bulbs and I just wound my coil tightly around that and then you've got these particular style coils right here that you can make uh, you can make all kinds of different uh, primaries but uh, what I do with mine is a whole lot different than what you see in most of the videos where people are have sparks flying through the air and of course it looks cool but uh, I'm in it for the alternative energy deal so my question is before you waste your time or your money or your resources to build you a Tesla coil, what is exactly that you want to accomplish with your Tesla coil? Are you wanting the fancy spark system? Or are you wanting the wireless energy transfer? So before I make a before I make a really good how-to, I need to know what exactly it is that you want to do with it. If you want to run your entire house, you're going to need a pretty huge system in order to do that. Um, if you want to transmit that energy to your friend's house, they're going to have to have an identical uh, tower as, as you got to uh, pick up that uh, energy wirelessly. That's why I designed that particular coil right there, the Shiziz coil, so that uh, if you had two of these, now this is just on here to let you know where a hot spot is, so that's not actually part of the whole deal right there. But uh, let me fire that up and I'll show you what it is I'm talking about. Notice that anything that's lighting up around here, that's where you don't want to touch. Otherwise, you get the cruds shocked out of you. This uh, mercury vapor bulb over here that I'm using as a uh, top load. But, uh, yeah, just um, make me some comments in my uh, video here and uh, tell me what it is that you're wanting to do with your uh, Tesla coil. Uh, building your testicle, like I said, it's, 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 there's nothing to it. Depending on your windings, there's uh, calculations out there that will tell you how many uh, windings you need for how many ever volts that you want to end up getting out of the thing. Basically, when the primary is pulsed on your Tesla coil, it creates a huge field around here, see? And this field energizes the secondary, and the more windings you have going up your secondary, it increases the voltage until it comes out the top load. Well, that's where you see all them nifty sparks. But then they're using uh, the uh, neon sign transformers like I showed you down there. And uh, they're putting a, a lot, an extreme amount of electricity into this uh, pancake coil right here. Now Tesla's design was to bait electricity out of the ground using the secondary. So once you got this energized it would act as the uh, atmosphere in the air like uh, whenever you see lightning how the atmosphere in the air gets really uh, supercharged and then finally the negative uh, electrons from the earth can jump across that gap kind of like on your spark gap I use a uh, old seal beam bulb down there for my spark gap that's where you see that thing lighting up that's a bad bulb but it still will light up when that uh, energy is able to it gets high enough it can jump across that gap right there and then pulse the coil just like a lightning bolt would be from the ground to the cloud anyway that was the uh, initial deal right there was to suck that energy up out of the ground because the earth is negatively charged, the atmosphere is positively charged and uh, once you fire this right here there's your positive charge and then it would suck the negative charge out of the earth and amplify it as it come up the toroid 
and then or up the uh, secondary and then out the toroid okay like I said there it is that's a Tesla coil over here this is the Shiziz coil has a primary right down here this is made out of uh, stainless steel has a flyback transformer on the deck right there so when the energy comes off the deck it goes through that flyback transformer uh, amplifies the uh, electricity energizes the argon gas inside the uh, vacuum tube right there and creates plasma then it fires back down in goes through these capacitors right here that's an 800 microfarad capacitor right there and these I uh, have four spark gaps on there so that I can tune to different frequencies and then from there it's fired through these condensers right here all up in through this coil right here which is all a built-in all-in-one built-in uh, Tesla coil there's the uh, primary and there's the secondary and then from there goes right up the top and if you watch real closely you can see that green LED light up on the uh, deal there let me uh, kill some lights here and you can see it there's a green LED right here and then there's a red one at the top and essentially all those do is let me know I'm transmitting it's just a little piece of PVC with a copper coil around it and one LED you can hear by that static going on right there my uh, spark gaps not adjusted just right let me see if I can fix that alright I'll tinker with that later but uh, essentially See that purple right inside there? That's the plasma buildup coming from that flyback transformer, looping up in there and energizing that argon gas. So this particular coil right here is completely wireless, even though you can see all these wires dangling all over the place. It's not connected to any power source. It's just picking up the energy and then uh, transmitting it up the uh, deal and out just like a regular radio antenna would, and then these coils right here just like the one that I showed you at the very tip top with the uh, red on there the red LED it's just a piece of PVC with coil on there and that just lets me know that I'm transmitting energy out that way which I could uh, actually do by uh, putting a uh, fluorescent mode like I did on the other coil over there out so that you can see the energy being transmitted also, I leave this uh, little battery operator, a little shake-up flashlight, I leave this laying down there so that it's charging itself up while it's just sitting there. You notice I broke off the coil part of it and I still got the little batteries and uh, the little circuitry inside there with a the capacitor that charges up. And so essentially, this is uh, wirelessly... Ugh kind of keep it straight this is charging wirelessly and uh, it's been sitting there for God knows how many years and every time I use this thing I keep charging that battery up but uh, there's a whole lot more to it if uh, if you're interested and you want me to make a step-by-step uh, -step how to to show you exactly how to make a Tesla coil let me know exactly what it is that you want to use your Tesla coil for you want to transmit energy wirelessly back and forth to your neighbor. Uh, you want to do it for experimental purposes, or you want it for the the uh, cool lightning effect. Personally, uh, I don't 
I don't particularly like the lightning effect because it's uh, essentially a waste of energy. You're sending all that energy out uh, into space where it doesn't need to go. You, you could be using it for something else. And that's why I do these little coils right here to show that you can actually uh, wirelessly turn that energy back into usable uh, voltage. Anyway, uh, my times are running up here, so uh, let me know what kind of purpose you got for your Tesla coil, and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I'll make a uh, how-to video, show you step by step how to do it, and throw you some schematics in there. I made another video called "Build a Tesla Coil" that you can look back on, and it actually has a uh, simple schematic in it and uh, it's really easy to do you don't have to be a college graduate in order to figure it out uh, but uh, let me know what it is you want peace and love everybody take care